Welcome, Hello. everybody. Hello. Uh, welcome to the virtual comedy show. A little bit of silliness we do every week around this time. Unless the playa gets flooded, then six days in the mud. And then... <laughs> <laughs> we have a top of the line show tonight, along with our stars, Steve Goody and Patty Vasquez. We have comedian and fellow survivor of Delta Flight 35 from Edinburgh last week, Ron <laughs> Lacone, everybody. Yay! Yay. And of course, the dynamic singing duo of TV's Kyle and Lynn Zilla. So that's kind of fun. We're ready for that. We've done the sound check, ready to go. So, so of course, Burning Man, everybody. We all saw Burning Man. Uh, never got those embers hot enough to uh, take fire because of heavy rains in the Nevada desert. We've all heard it, haven't we? As many as 70,000 fans were smelly, dirty, and muddier than they usually want to be. <laughs> That's usually what they are anyway. They are still stuck, I believe. And supplies of patchouli and blotter acid are running low. <laughs> many are starting to think it possibly is a bad idea to head out to a dried up lake that decided it wanted to be a lake again. I think. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, Burning Man is a festival. It's a place where the hip and happening can cook, dance, sing, and drink, make art. And this year, they replaced all of that by doing an improv version of the Squid Game. It was <laughs> Squid Games, okay. Well, there we go. We started the jokes, everybody, right? Jumped, jumped right in. <laughs> We're trying to keep it quick. Patty's already here and she wants me to get this over. So, <laughs> Patty doesn't like coming in early if she doesn't have to. So, uh, all right. Well, Trump, hey, you know what? Trump will get back on TV saying the words that he's famous for next March. Yep. We will hear Big Donnie utter that little sentence he said so many times in the past. I take the fifth. <laughs> y'all thought you're fired right no uh, so the the trial for election interference in georgia will be televised it'll be televised unless somehow the MAGA lawyers can get a venue change to the set of pan's labyrinth which is <laughs> one of the darkest movies ever okay that was a little little, little deep a little deep for everybody. That, it was really dark, <laughs> but you couldn't see. That movie was hard to see. Great. Okay. Now, Trump must surely be worried, by the way, because unlike other famous televised trials, these gloves are really going to fit those tiny hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least remember the OJ trial. Thanks. All right. We're almost done already. Can you believe it? Wow. Yes. Yeah, I got home late today. Here we go. Oh, and Jimmy Buffett passed away, uh, Margaritaville, but very sad. Uh, no jokes about that. Uh, but another sad day in music, Steve Harwell, lead mm. singer of Smash Mouth, passed away at 56. Oh, wow. Very I don't love that. No, mm. Not a loser, everybody, not a loser. Now, I like the band, and I, I like their hits, and I thought they were catchy and fun. And it's amazing to me how many people made fun of them for the last so many years. Uh, one quote I heard today, they were an amazing band and in no way deserved any of the jokes, jibes, and criticism over the years. Oh, wait, I mean us, signed Nickelback. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For some reason, they're all still perfectly healthy. They're all perfectly healthy. Yeah, they are. Well, they're, they're not. They're young. They're all young. <laughs> Six is very young, considering I'm older than that. Okay. <laughs> Dark Brandon used his Labor Day speech in front of a union crowd in Philadelphia to take a few pokes at Trump and tout Bidenomics. We're all calling it Bidenomics. <laughs> the Philly crowd showed a ton of positive enthusiasm about Joe's pro-union message by yelling only half the time and beating up less than 50 people. So <laughs> that Philly crowd really gets on your side, don't they? So it was a great day in Philly. All right. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. I'm going to whip this out in about six minutes here today. Hey, a little good news, a little good news, a little good news. And that is because of climate change, you can now wear white after Labor Day. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what you're wearing. That's right. Well, it's kind of gray. It's good, but it's <laughs> whatever. 
But, and, and going the way we're going in three years, get ready for the Halloween thong. So that's going to be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Hey, we oh, wrote ready. nine Halloween thongs. That's right. <laughs> no. so, so be ready for your candy to be pre-melted, though. Wait, so your fingers? To your, to, no, to your thong. I don't okay. Know <laughs> Pre, okay. Red tie. That's a Trump thing. No, it's not. Well, I don't know. Somebody just people wore Atlanta red ties before Trump. Trump. Your chocolate. Yeah, did. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the hey, thing. That's right. Get to theaters now as Equalizer Three is out, starring sixty-eight-year-old mm -hmm. Denzel Washington <laughs> as an ex-government assassin who comes out of retirement to bring vigilante justice to a small Italian town where the mafia has tried to take over. Yeah. Mm. Anybody gone to see these movies, The Equalizer? Not yet. Really? Not yet. Washington spends his time in the film fighting multiple people in their 20s and running all over the place. The film looks very realistic, and hopefully they will release a sequel of the footage of Denzel between takes and call it The Nebulizer. <laughs> oh. There you go. I found a word that rhymes with equalizer. There you go. <laughs> oh, wow. What's amazing about the Equalizer films is Denzel doesn't even try. He never runs. He even doesn't even move that fast. And he's got a belly. I mean, it's like The Rock, Hugh Jackman, Keanu Reeves spend two years training endlessly. And Denzel Washington saunters over to the set from craft services with his third bagel of the morning and action. <laughs> <laughs> and he's 68. I mean... He makes 20 million a film and then isn't even taxed on social security. So that's kind of <laughs> that's, that's the kind of job I want right there. <laughs> By the way, I didn't write anything about it, but Liam Neeson is making another uh, action, not taken, but another retribution. And uh, he's 70 and he's just, I love that they're beating up like 9,500 people. All right. Hey, I only got three more. Here we go. The Barbie movie is now the highest grossing domestic movie in history. Can you believe that? Oh. Yes. <laughs> it is a huge win for the demographic that has never gotten any attention or money or starred in a movie before. Really hot, size zero, blonde women with big boobs. They always <laughs> <laughs> Those girls yeah. have just never gotten any attention. Okay. Nope, not at all. Nope. Not at all. That's right. Oopa. Hey, here's something fun. Maritime historians Brendan... Ballad, I think I, that's his name, and Bob Jayek, terrible names, discovered a 140-year-old <laughs> shipwreck in Lake Michigan. Is that amazing? Mm, it was a schooner wow. called the Trinidad that was built in 1867 and sank in 1881. The mm -hmm. boat was in such good shape that the dishes were still stacked in the galley. You could still oh. see the entire floor of the ship the most amazing find was a note in a box in the captain's cabin that said, screw you, Gordon Lightfoot. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, chop liver? <laughs> <laughs> he knew it. He had to, he, that one was that one was signaled way ahead of time. <laughs> and one more. And then let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> We're just going to shut it down early. Everybody go home. <laughs> Experts have compiled a list of the top 10 jobs that AI will replace in the next few years. Many of them white collar jobs. On the list are many of the customer service phone answering people. Coders. AI will start doing coding, programming, software engineering, data analysis, also advertising, creating content, technical writing and journalism all could be gone in the next few years. And it is predicted that AI could replace up to 40% of U.S. jobs in the next 20 years. And by Ooh. then, there could be even a better AI that replaces chat GBT, which we will then see the first chat EBT. <laughs> <laughs> Food stamps. I got it. Food stamps, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> The audience is too well to do to the get audience, that. The audience has way too much money to understand that. Too. <laughs> but it will be sad when you turn on your computer and see, I will write your essay for food. 
<laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve. I'm too smart for the crowd today. I can't believe it.